lighten up for us. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Okay, hold on, Peggy. You know what else could be the highlight of your week? The colors of this game are already very pretty. Very, very interested in how this goes. It looks super cool. It not only matches my color, my color, my my color theming that I have going on over here. It looks so cool. Oh shit, this is what it looks like? You said movement. Move with WASD and move the camera. Yeah, no shit. Whoa. Is there something in here? Can I climb in here? Can I pick up objects? What object do you want me to pick up right now? You want me to pick up this bottle? No way, I can distract shit. I will throw this at you. How do I, how do I hold to throw? Wait, wait, wait. We're losing an invalid location. What if I wanna like chuck it? Hello. Okay, this is just a pipe. Who's calling me? Hello? Hello? So there's only, that's rude. Specific things that I can do. Close, okay, no, close it. Close the, thanks. All right. Hello? What the fuck? Who was that? What in the paranormal is going? Whoa! Hi, how you doing? Like <laughs> fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know, how? How? Wait, what? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Peggy, cats. I'm saying I heard someone you know, screaming. Four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. All right, but fine, I'll check sure it. you don't want to. Peggy, I will do the checks for the system, bro. Hold on, let me just see here. Okay, toggle the panel for top. Okay, cool. Um, let's see what else is going on here. This is a nice setup. A like nice setup. This is ex this is a cool DJ, you know, radio. St I want to go into a radio station one day. I want to be on. I have the voice for radio. Love the. I'm not too sure what's going on here. What's up, Peggy? Oh, Peggy is a Peggy is a curly haired uh, 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 black girl. Okay, we got we love a melanated queen. We love a melanated queen, bro. I love, I love that. She is, I, I don't care what anyone else says, she is. All right, do I need a tutorial on how to use the DJ uh, desk? Let's do the checks. Skip the checks this time. Um, let's do the checks. All right, fine. Let's get through this. Let me just run through All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Okay, Peggy, I'm here Buckle for the fun. Folks. I'm here for We're the fun. We're about to hit some tubular rinse. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> Okay. Okay, let me grab let me record, let me spin some records. Stick it on the player and hit play. Easy. Let me grab a record. Let me see what you got here. You got 19 uh, uh 80 80 whatever that is. Blast processor, David Scopo, The Flow, Late Night Lurkers, Stabbing Uh Forrest, shut do up. You need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. No shit. Don't talk to me like I'm stupid, okay? Do uh Late Night Lurkers to be honest with you. Do I not put this? There we go. Got it. Okay. Great. Now turn it off. Hold up, Peggy. Peggy, do you not hear this smooth, these smooth tunes? Peggy, I know you hear these smooth tunes, girl. Press the stop button on the record player. Peggy, I'm telling you to come in here and listen to it with me. All what right. Next? Up next, phone line buttons. 
Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. Peggy, you just yeah. went down like eight points. Yeah, it's Araya. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. Okay, Peggy. I labeled it for you. Look at that, Peggy. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Reggie's the killer for okay, sure. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, it's off. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to... 189.16 the, the scream. scream before we start taking your calls tonight on gallows creek's only late night phone oops sorry y'all in talk show i need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening guess that scream forrest this you don't sound like you're really into it manager's better ideas here's how it works i'm gonna play you a scream then you call and guess that scream Bro, Forrest, put some umph you in guess. your Why in your scream. like radio Did skills, they bro. Step their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one. Right. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Bro, stop saying it like that. Hey, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. It's gotta Come on, be one I of these. I gave it to you yesterday. It's gotta be one of these. Forrest, you do have the tape right. I don't fucking know. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. Bro, which no, one is I, the tape? I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Hell no. You want me to scream into the... Are you serious? I won't do it. I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest. Just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it this rip. This radio station sucks. Oh, God. I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close. And then call in. I swear to God, if you say it like this, guess that scream. Yeti scream, falling off a cliff, drowning scream. I know, Forrest, you were not this serious. Forrest, I know you were not this serious. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win that was a scream? two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM. Forrest, with your you guess. need to get fired. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, oh my God. Hold on, bro. Let me play record. Fuck. All right. Should I introduce a song? Yes. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. All right. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. No shit, I'm a radio Thanks. host. I don't know why the hell I'm yeah, acting so stiff, though. Think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Okay, hold up, Peggy. You know what else could be the highlight of your week? You know what else could be the highlight of your week? Look at these moves, girl. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh my god. There we go. Look at this. Look at these professional skills, bro. Where's the call coming in from? Welcome to 189.16, the scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. 
What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Uh, uh, are you calling in for Guess That Scream? Leslie, I've got to say I'm always happy to have a caller, but, uh, shouldn't our 911 operator and police dispatcher be minding the phones? What? Oh, Forrest, you have no idea. Listen, I found a body. This is live? I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize your voice. What? I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. How do you know you're a 911 operator later? Operate, Maggie, operator I'm lady. I'm happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Uh. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? Peggy. I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found it. This has got to be a very oh, small town. God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. This is why I do not want to live in a small do you know town. What happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Is there anyone else at the station? What did the other... What are the... Where are the other officers? Where are the other officers? I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here. But she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. Nah, right. this is too sketch. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. Oh my god. Rob's How do you know? Is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Oh, hell no. Forrest, I've routed nope. all 911 nope. calls. Nope. Come into I'm leaving. Oh, hold on. Let me close this. <laughs> Hold on, let me close this. I didn't know. I didn't know that led to. I didn't, I didn't know I could actually go outside. Uh, this is a bad no, idea. I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. I don't Besides, know, Leslie. There are lots of transferable skills between the two. Oh, it's Leslie. like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? No, Guide the Leslie. conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. Leslie, you are that you are terrible at your job. Out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. Bro, There's get a got to be get another way in. Try to break the door, find another way into the cell. Find another set of keys. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Check the officer desk. Check Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but. We're gonna send Leslie really to her death close. for real. Like at this point, we're about to we're about one to kill second. Leslie up. 
She's about, she's about to die. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, 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 th I think I got the cell keys. Bro, she's about to Looks die. Like Matthews might have saved his deputy. Did the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Peggy, why don't you come in here and, and, and help me, like, like, you know, like, like, lock the place up. You're out there. She's gonna, everyone, oh my god, I can't handle this all night. I think we, we can handle this. I'm quitting <laughs> KFM if this is a prank. Oh my god, I am quitting, bro. This is wild. I swear to god, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I mean, I've I'm leaving regardless. Like, like, let's get real. I'm, like I'm leaving this regardless. Happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. No, we don't. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. Why does she sound like she out of go breath? Ahead to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. Okay, bro. I'm put some hot sauce in the mouth or something. Get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. You're leaving. We're on our own. This is the right thing to do. You mean we're going to be on our own? Just Peggy and me and no one else responding to emergency calls. You'll be fine. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be oh back as soon as What? My car! My car is on fire! What Leslie, do you mean you're, it's on you're fire? gonna die. How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No, no way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? Who? With that mask. And how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. Bro. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Peggy, Martinez? Peggy, use your fucking brain. Of course he did. Leslie, stay inside and lock the door. Oh, shit. Things are right. timed? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Bro, Let me check if Martinez this is has like... Any, I, if I was in this uh, situation, I no, would... Just, I would say, good luck, I'm there, out. And, yes, got him. Keys like, I would leave. Three. Peggy I and I can go. I, I grab here. my car. Nice the killer's though, distracted. Good thinking. But, wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Bro, take the car and run him over. Take Sheriff Matthew's gun. Take... Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Oh my god. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Oh, shit. This is a it's police empty. station. He must have emptied it trying a to police station. Himself. There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. Ma'am, you have the keys. keys. I got earlier will help. Let me see. Jeez. No. 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 Uh, shit. None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? This is definitely a time game. Earlier. She's gonna die because I didn't um, click the right one first. Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? The taser. The pepper spray isn't gonna do shit. I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. 
The pepper spray, he has a mask on. That's not gonna do shit. Wait. Do you hear that? No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. No. I don't see him anywhere. But I can see the car. Squad car three. It's right wait, there. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So... Here we go. Oh my god, they're Again, gonna die. You're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it Bro, through this. Bro, are, are, are 911 you know, operators trained say, for that this shit? This really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Damn, so what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Oh, do I, do I, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Hold on. I'm putting the call through. Okay, hold on. Hello? Forrest? Yeah, yeah, Leslie. Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Over. We're here, we're here, we're here. We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. Okay. I don't see the whistling man anywhere. And okay. I don't plan to wait for him. Uh, that's so I'm right. Going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! This man just whistles as he's killing. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Bro, use the taser! Yeah, take that! Take yeah! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Is she stretching? Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Holy oh shit, Oh my god, bro. I can't believe we escaped. Oh my god. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Is she, was Just she another stretching, chat? Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Dear Leslie, god. how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Bro, wake her ass up. Forrest wake her Peggy ass up. Her. Wake it up. I'll be out of range soon. But I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the Where's your cell phone, Leslie? Take care, Leslie. Be safe Where's out there. Where's your cell phone? Luck, what do you Leslie. mean you're only going to use the radio? Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Peggy, you are no help. A Folks, shocking turn of events. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows You're telling me that was Gallows live for the tonight. whole city to hear, town? Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to Hold enjoy. on, let me get something cool. Let me get something cool. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Time to go on the journey that is last processor with their hit song 1980x oh this Jesus. is not what i signed up for peggy this is actually insane did she really say it's going to take her four hours there's this no way i thought this half game was half an hour four hours forrest that's not helpful i know i know i just <sighs> who is this whistling man character anyway he was a serial killer back in the 50s edward marshall mooney Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Well, do we have any information? Like... No motive. He just... Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, like, how did he die? Where did he him? supposedly well, go? Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. And oh my god, so this is like Halloween. Jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time. Waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. Jesus. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 35? 35, 35 people oh. listening? I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people at best. Oh my god, bro. Are you serious? Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? Bro, watch it be like I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? They could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn bro, a lot about perspective tonight, What happened to tonight, his career, huh? bro? Oh, because it sounds like he just again. he was just dry as fuck on the radio, like he is now. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Oh, God. Well, this is cute. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Unconvincing whistling. You know my This is name. such a prank, bro. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Bro. Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to oh, us. Oh man, if you don't sit down and go to, to bed. Us. I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzels. What the fuck? I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll. Bro, is he at a party? Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. I want to deal with them. Ooh. Uh, we also want a mega gold. You're little shits, you know that? There's been death tonight. What the hell is wrong with you? Is that it? For anyone that just it? tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Why does it ask me if I want to introduce hey, the song? What the hell was that? Kids pretending to you be a killer who right home? now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. Okay, By that was back in the 50s. This, this is 2023, Peggy. It's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. 
And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. This we is already not a have another song. call around the this line. This is not a positive right. song. Let's do this. You said I have a caller? Okay, hold on. That's a fire song, though. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I well, lady, I'll the try. Run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Okay. A jazz run? Where are you now? Bad night to Okay, have her. Okay, ah. Oh. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. Baby. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least, so I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Okay, sounds like you lost uh, him. I think you'll be fine. Can you go back and find Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. <gasps> Look, I don't know a thing about cars. Okay, you're gonna have to jump start the car. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Wait, 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 wait. You know, I don't know how to jumpstart a car. 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio Why is host, the Why is it called The Scream, Tannikin. bro? Savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Okay, this is a calm song. This is a calm song. Okay. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? Not the, the same, though. Not the time. I know, but they're not even related. Not the time. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, I'm not the only one that's taking... The offices are out the door and down the hall. I don't like this. Ooh, I do not like this. Okay. So I have to find this record. Hey, yo. No, 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 keep that open. Bro, I don't, this, uh, this, none of this is helping. None of this is helping. Is this it? Grilling, sp grilling spree? Creepy hour. I'm looking for a record though, right? None of this is helping. What, what is the point of this? What does it say? This has to be important. Twin twins. I've borrowed your car. Theft magazine. Those uh gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Bro. I thought it was a record I'm looking for. I'm she's gonna die. This looks useful. Okay. Chat, y'all are wonderful. Y'all are wonderful, chat. Hold on. Okay. Jesus Christ. Keyless entry, okay. Use a screwdriver as a key if that fails. Two, remove this. Remove the steering column cover. Check the serial number, then strike, and twist the following wires together. It, I need to take a picture of this. Because, no, I, I'm about to move like Dashy. Dashy be taking notes and shit during his. What? If there's a four before a three and a number seven in the numbers, and no, and no seven? 
in the numbers red and blue if there's a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five green and brown if there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six red and yellow step four now stripe the purple wire strip the purple wire sorry do not touch this live wire Brush the purple wire against the twist wire, the twisted wires from step three. If the radio turns on and won't turn off, cut the left pink wire. Don't cut the other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. If the alarm is sounding, what? Cut the triple braided, fuck. We're back with 189.16, the scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creeps look Pull the screwdriver into the ignition and twist clockwise. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here okay. goes, baby. I. I. Oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Unscrew the steering column. What the hell? One, two, okay. One, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? Okay. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up and... Oh, God. My heart is pumping. I would... I would... I would... Okay. You're doing great. Tell me exactly what you see. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Okay, calmed her down. We There's calmed her down. Wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Red. Okay. All right. Hold on. What's the serial number on the steering column? Okay, check. What's the serial number on the steering column? Okay. The number is five seven six eight nine four three two zero. What? Five seven six eight nine four three two. Okay. If there is a four before a three and no seven, if there's a four before a three and no seven, red and blue, Just twist, twist the following wire. Okay, red and blue. Okay, there is a seven, so that one's not it. If there is a six anywhere and it doesn't start with a five, green and brown, it does start with a five. Okay, if there is a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before six, red and yellow. Okay, red and yellow. Red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh my fucking god. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Okay, okay. Strip the purple wire and twist to expose the cable. Strip the purple wire and brush. Oh shit. Um. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and. <gasps> oh my god. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you, you Go! get in for free. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Okay. Get him safe, All right, Sandra. All right. Will That's do, one person baby. saved. I swear to God, if she dies right here. Did she just honk the man? I know she did not just honk that man, bro. We did it, Forrest. We sure did. I know she did not just here honk that man. Another hit track. That was stressful. That we're excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also <sighs> having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let me play a song for y'all. Hold on. I'll play I'll play um this one, Storm Riders. Shit. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock right. and roll ride with the Glam Jam. That's right, Forrest. Do your thing. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. This is fact. Really? Miserable? Oh, she's she's getting offended. She's getting offended. Peggy, be honest. It's a dump. 
There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy hey, for at least yo. making things interesting. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this yeah, place. Yeah, you, Peggy? Some folks have been okay. You don't notice the stink after... I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. Yeah, okay, Forrest, after switch your while. game. You said you're, you're not, not terrible. You're not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. Right, I Peggy. Do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. He said his mic open? Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Okay, 1242, it's been an hour. Caller on line one. All right. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16. The fact that this is called The Scream is ridiculous. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What's up, bro? Okay, hello, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Sir, please don't. Send them through email. Send them through email. Wow, them through email. Brian, that's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals. Ponzi, this is not the time. This is not the time to be plugging your pizza shop, bro. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. I know this man is not plugging oh, his pizza shop oh, no, during no, a killing no, no. spree. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponzi's Pizza. We've got a great special this Bro, weekend. no one's coming to your fucking Our pizza shop. Beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Next caller, call in. Welcome to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from The Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. How did he get how did he get in so Wait. fast to the other side of town? Nash, I wanna speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I'm guessing you've not been tuned in to our show tonight. Damn it, son. What does that have to do with anything? Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? Bro. I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Never mind that. Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every Sir, year. Sir, this is not the time to be to and be uh, taking this as a joke. It wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Sir. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. 
I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. I mean, if he killed Sheriff how did he Matthews, get to the next town four you hours now? over? In the boardroom, upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. It maybe it is a kid. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Can you get out of there? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. Maurice, this is not a I'm kid. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. Shit. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? Why the they fuck have a would bunch we do that, Peggy? The Why office, the fuck right? would we call the In killer? In different rooms, with different extensions? So we call one of them. Draw the killer no. away. No! And buy Maury's time? Buy Maury's time. That could work. Exactly! I swear to it's God, if this shot. man introduces... I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. Which I don't think I have. All while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Bro, is he faxing some shit over to me? I swear to God. I swear to God. He just faxed some shit over, didn't he? You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. I'm gone. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. What? Go, Forrest. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. I know. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. What are these lights, bro? This must be it. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at though. Jesus Christ. All right, let me see here, hold on. So secret archives. Editor extension, editor's extension, archives extension. Kitchen extension, 0201. Cubicles, space office, boardroom. He's in the boardroom, right? Okay, so where are you, where is he? He's in the boardroom, which is extension four. He needs to get to the stairs to go downstairs. Hey, did you get the fox? Yes, I have. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my facts? Yeah, bro, I got it. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Shit, how the Okay, I... folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Oh three, oh three. Call the call call the editor. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Go to the archives, go to the office. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. 
Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Oh my god, I hope he gets through, Are okay. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Yo, Calling I swear if he entered I swear now. to god if this if if fucking Nash introduces himself. I can't believe it! He's actually heading to my office! Fuck. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. Oh my god. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that, but Bro. I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Okay, uh... Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. So put a You'd fucking... Put a, put a door... Put a, put a, like, a thing. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, not the time. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're like, right. not the time, dude. Sorry, Forrest. I, I'm, I'm like half We're concerned. I, 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 um, I've got it convinced all she's part. She's, she's like, you know, in, in cahoots with the, in, no with the killer. There's no on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there. And I lock him in. We can catch the Okay, but there's the no gun. extension for the secret exactly. archives. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, well then what the fuck kind of idea is this? It up, then. Any ideas, Forrest? Use yourself as bait. Is there a TV in there? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Think of something else. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the oh secret archives. Oh my god, you're Are joking. there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Jesus, Jesus, bro. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? Yes, bro. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Jesus, bro. The 
radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. We'll do what? Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! We're the radio! We can just be quiet until you're ready! Hold on, I'm turning uh, everything down, then shit. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? You got it, 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Uh... Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. Fuck. Fuck. Did I do that right? He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave oh that mask God. Rick the slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl! Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, Good question. Wait, the radio is where? It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Hide among the cubicles. All right. Well, this is Oh it. my god, bro. I don't know if I'm doing this I'm right. Go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Listen to your old pal Russell Fuck. Forrest and shut up. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. Oh. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks, we'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to well, share, I couldn't see. give us a call after this next track. I couldn't see, bro. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. Oh my You're god. You're gonna interview me. Are you sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. And you're still all shrouded in mystery. Alright. 
shoot. What do you want to know?